Hey everyone, welcome back to Owl Creek. Today, I'm out at the rabbit hutch. I'm gonna check it out. It's been about four or five days since the rabbits have been in this new hutch. We're gonna take a look at this. We're gonna get it all cleaned up and see how it's doing. They all seem to be pretty happy with their new larger cages. And what I'm actually looking at today is how it's doing with the mess that they leave behind. So you can see here that it's most of it has dropped down into the gutters just as I wanted. And this is completely odorless. It separates all the urine, go, drains down into the gutter, and then all their poo either stays in the gutter or stays up here on this, and then I'll just flush it down. But everything, eventually, all the urine will just drop down into the bucket down below so it doesn't mix and cause the stink like what if you have pans with the old traditional style. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up and I'm going to take my garden hose and just kind of run it along the top right there. Or you can also use a pitcher of water, a five gallon bucket, anything, anything like that. And I'm going to show you why I think this style of hutch is the best that you can build. Okay, so the one thing you always have to keep an eye on whenever you're cleaning like this is the level of your bucket. So we always come back and check it a few times as I'm spraying everything out. I don't want to overflow that. Okay, so I see that my bucket is about four inches from full. So before I go any farther, I'm gonna go empty that. Now, one thing I had to do here was I actually had to lift up this end of the cage due to my garage floor is unlevel. I've got a drain right here in my floor. So they've angled everything back to the drain. They angled it kind of extreme it's got about a six inch fall in a 12 foot area a little too much so i had to pick up one side of the hutch to get it to drain appropriately so i need to angle those gutters a little bit more but this is not the permanent place for this hutch the hutch is actually going to go out in this lean to area on the side of my barn Right here, I'm going to enclose this. It will be about a 13 by 20 room. Um, the rest of it I'm gonna leave open back behind me so that way I can park my uh, tractor or my side-by-side -side or something in there. But this is where the hutch will go eventually as soon as I get that finished. It's one of my many, many projects on my list right now. And I almost forgot. I haven't introduced velvet to you yet. This is velvet our new doe she's silver fox obviously as you can see she was born in january she will be one of our long-term breeders okay now to empty the five gallon bucket All right, so I was just carrying the five gallon bucket out to dump it and I look over and I see that Xena is up on top of the goat house. No idea how she got up there, but she's just chilling, having a good time. Looks like she's enjoying herself. 
All right, so as I said in one of my previous videos, this is where I'm dumping all of the manure from the rabbits. It drains off all the urine, so there is no smell to this whenever it's just the poop left behind. I'm gonna dump my bucket that I have here into that, then go back to cleaning. Okay, all clean. That was pretty quick, probably took maybe seven minutes to clean. So not much at all. So that is why I think this is the best style of rabbit hutch that you can build. I haven't cleaned it in four days. It was still completely odorless and now it took seven minutes to clean the whole thing. All I have to do now is empty out my bucket on both sides again, since they're still kind of dripping a little bit of water. And let me get turned here because the light was horrible. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead now and take off all these water bottles. I've been watching. I've made sure that all the rabbits are drinking from this water system, this blue hose here. If you haven't seen that video for the install, check it out. I'll post a card on the video here, but my five gallon bucket is full of water, just feeds down through our hoses and right down to these water nipples. All right, so that's it for today. Glad that you all got to meet Velvet for the first time and see how this hutch got cleaned up and how easy that process was. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks.